and welcome back to my channel. Exciting things are behind me. So myself and my best friend Pebbles are moving out on Tuesday and we get the keys to our new flat and I am currently in the process of getting all of my stuff out from the attic that I've been accumulating over the past month or so and I've been so excited to film this video. I keep buying things and they keep having to go straight up into the attic and I keep thinking that I wanna look at them because they're so nice. So um, without further ado, I would like to show you what I've been buying from um, just the high street and online because we've been in lockdown and it's been quite hard to go around the shops and things. So um, this is mostly stuff that I've bought online and they are reasonably affordable because your girl is skint um, but they're all really 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 nice and I'm really excited about everything so here are my things. So the first thing I bought when I realised that we were moving is a book and this I don't know if this really counts as a homeware haul I'm gonna say it does because I've been using it to plan all of my stuff write loads of lists um, keep checklists and tick off things that I need to be doing. So I got this from Morrison's and it was three pounds. So, so far I've filled a few pages up of things that I wanna get for each various room. I've also done like a weekly budget calculator. Um, I've done a checklist for this weekend just so I know what I need to be doing with packing and things. Um, and once we get in, um, I could use this for like food shop lists, things like that. I think it's always nice to have like a pen and a pad in the kitchen so you can plan for things. I do love a list, so that's the first thing. And then I think I will jump to bedroom stuff. So this was actually the first thing that I bought when I realized that we were moving and we were gonna do it because it was all just sort of a will we, won't we type situation. But when we agreed, I went to Exeter for the day, looked in Woolco and they were having a lot of student sales on, like back to university sales. So I picked up this really nice like dove gray waffle, really, really soft throw from my bed and it was in the sale and it was only eight pounds and I think that's a bargain and it's also massive it says it's 240 by 200 centimeters so that's really really big and I like to have lots of throws and cushions and nonsense on my bed so this will be really nice to snuggle up in especially because it's going to be winter so the next thing that I got was a bedding set which I have taken out of the packaging because I wanted to wash it because I want to put it on as soon as I'm in and I wanted it to be like ready and clean but I got this from Amazon which I don't do a lot of shopping on Amazon I find it quite strange um, this took ages to come as well I ordered it like a month before it actually arrived but it is a bedding set and it to be honest it did look a little bit different from the pictures when it turned up um, this is the pillowcase so on the one side it's polka dots on the other side it's like this baby pink it's kind of a peachy pink um, and the duvet is the exact same so I'm gonna have it polka dots up pink on the bottom came with two pillowcases um, the duvet cover and it also came with a flat sheet and it's very very soft I don't think I'm gonna use the flat sheet I don't tend to use flat sheets they annoy me but it cost a, I think it was about 20 pounds it was a while ago now so I can't remember um, I will leave the link to it below um, but yeah I'm really excited to see what that looks like on my bed the next thing I got which is still in the package from when I bought it these are from eBay so I was deciding what color scheme I wanted to go for in the bathroom for myself so I decided I would go with gray rather than having loads of le like pink everywhere so I got myself two flannels and these are apparently um, luxurious super soft Egyptian combed cotton and they do feel really soft and the flannels were I think three pounds each um, I got myself two bath sheets as well. They're the same, they're still in their packaging. I'm not gonna take them out just to make it easier for me to transport them. Um, but I got two bath sheets. So bath sheets are the size up from a bath towel. They're huge, um, they're ridiculously huge. I've always wanted one. Um, I'm normally used to using bath towels, but I do think they're a bit small. So I got two bath sheets, two flannels, and then I did also buy myself a bath towel for my hair which I actually think is gonna be a bit too big, but they're really nice. Love the color, gray's easy, isn't it? It just goes with everything. The next thing is this huge rug, which I'm not going to take out of the wrapping. I have already taken it out. You can see I've had a look at it, but this was from Asda, and I never thought I'd buy anything from the Asda home section, but the Asda home section is doing bits and pieces. I want a lot of things from the Asda home section. So it's like George, George at home. So this, my friend Emily has the same rug in her living room and I've been over to her flat a couple of times and I really, really liked it. And when she told me it was from Asda, I had a look and it was only 30 pounds, which is amazing. I'll put a picture of what it looks like 
there so it's unraveled um so it's like a cream with black dalmatian e polka dots like irregular spots and i just think it's so nice i'm gonna put it in the lounge it's like nice and neutral i hope i'm not gonna spill anything on it um, but i really like the way it looks and i think it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare to like clean so that is the color when it's unraveled so it is quite pale um with large black spots so i'm really excited to see how that looks i do also want to get another rug for my bedroom also from asda because i think they're so reasonably priced it's like 30 pounds for a massive rug that will fill the entire floor so they've got loads of different ones they've got different spotty ones they've got geometric patterned ones um, they've got like animal print ones there's like a massive range really really good and it only costs like 2.95 or maybe 3.95 for shipping which i think is an absolute bargain considering the size now we're moving on to kitchen which is probably the most exciting my favorite stuff that i've got so the first thing nice and boring um i got some tea towels gray they're from morrison's they were I want to say they were £4, maybe £4.50. I'm pretty sure they were in the sale, um, but they're just... How many? Three tea towels. One's white with a grey grid, and the other two are grey with like this grid sort of pattern. So I thought, tea towels. I cannot say much more on the topic. The next thing <laughs> weighs a ton, and we've had a bit of a nightmare. The handle just broke as we were trying to get it down from the attic. That could have been a nightmare, but... <laughs> But I've got the, this is my dinner set. So I've had it out, I've had a look. They are the nicest plates and bowls and side plates ever. They look like they're kind of so, uh, like stoneware. So they look like that. And these were also on special and I also got these around the time of the student discount sales, like when everyone's going back to uni. And I, I think they were 12.50 i'll leave the link to them on the wilco website i think you can buy them online i don't know if i would though i did read the reviews and people kept saying that they were arriving damaged so i was glad that i was able to go and buy them in person oh god they're so heavy but i think they are lovely because they're just plain white i don't like colored plates i don't like patterned plates i just like nice plain white plates so your food doesn't look weird on them then i have got the it's just like a plain cutlery set i don't have a lot of very exciting things to say about it um we just wanted a plain cutlery set although we've realized i've still got the security tag on um but when i take the knives and forks out it will just slide off and then i'll put it in the bin um so these are from wilco these were a tenner and it's just like a very nice plain set of knives and forks nothing too snazzy i don't like the rose gold i don't like the like rainbow effects i just wanted some nice plain cutlery and here it is. Then the next two items are little Diddy coasters. So I've got um, these four packs of coasters. So there's four in each. One is a gray spotty set. One is a black Dalmatian polka dot. Can you see a trend appearing here? So I thought I'd have two of each, Pebbles would have two of each, and they'd look nice in the living room, maybe one in our bedrooms each. Um, I absolutely love Denelm. Dunno, if you're moving out and you need to look for stuff to move out with, Dunelm is so cheap, there's so much of a range, it's so modern, it seems very up to date with the stuff that they're stocking. I just found something else for my bedroom, so uh, I wanted a lamp for my bedside table and I actually put a poll on my Instagram because I found this on the website and it came in like a silver, like a brushed chrome almost frame, or it came in copper and I went with the copper because... A lot of the stuff in my room is going to be pink as well so I thought it would just sort of tie the two together so it's like this geometric um, that's just the protector for the wire so it's just going to be like that with just a white wire and this plastic's gonna come off so it's just like a very simple geometric lamp which I think is beautiful I got it from value lights and it was £20, including shipping because it was in the sale we've done it really really well we've been really lucky we're moving almost dead on black friday and there's a lot of sales going on so i think i've benefited from that and then the piece de resistance the best thing i've ever bought the best two things i've ever bought in my life but there is a slight tale of tragedy to go with it so bear with me when we decided we were moving out i was just having a look and like we didn't know what the flat was gonna look like but i was thinking what do i want from my life and then i realized that the answer is a pink kettle and a 
pink microwave and like a pink toaster. So I was Googling and I found a few sets and I found this gorgeous retro set on the Dunelm website. So this is the kettle and it was, I think it was 40 pounds. So it's got these retro features, like a little dial thing, like a little, I don't know what that is actually, but I just think it is so lovely. The perfect pastel pink. So this comes as part of a set, a three piece kitchen set. It comes as part of a kettle, a microwave and a toaster. So. The next thing I bought was the microwave. And it's huge and it's really heavy. It looks like this. Um, so it's part of the same range. It looks exactly the same. It's got the same sort of retro -y features on it. Um, and it was 65 pounds for the microwave. Although there's something telling me that I did pay 80 for it. And then are you ready for the tale of woe? The tale of woe is. So there, there is the matching toaster. The matching toaster is sold out everywhere i've not been able to get it i've had this in the attic for about a month it was one of the first things that i did buy i bought the kettle at the same time the toaster has not come back into stock over the course of the last month so i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do i think i might try and chance it and try and buy a toaster that's like as close to that pink as possible but i'm not sure if it's doable or i might just never eat toast again but that is my homeware haul for the moment, I'm sure there's going to be loads more stuff that I need. I've got all my IKEA furniture down in the garage, but there's just no point in showing you that until it's built because it would just be showing you a load of boxes. Um, so I've got my bed, my bedside table, my drawers ready to go from IKEA. Um, I've got a TV that was very kindly donated to me from my step grandparents who don't need it anymore. Um, and I've got a few other bits, but they're not very exciting. I just thought this was all the exciting stuff like the towels and the bedding and the microwave and it's pink. I am going to be filming a moving in vlog. Um, I'm going to get all of this stuff loaded into my dad's camper van, uh, ready to go up on Wednesday. On Tuesday, I am going to collect the keys with pebbles um, and give the flat like a massive deep clean so that when all of our stuff arrives on the Wednesday, we'll be able to get it all in. So I've got my mattress arriving, I've got a mirror arriving to the flat on the Wednesday. So it's all go, go, go. I need a list for this. Doesn't it sound like I need a list for this? But I really hope you enjoyed that. I've had so much fun buying all of this stuff, obviously, typical. Um, and I can't wait to get it in. I can't wait to see what it looks like. And I cannot wait to do like my moving vlog and my house tour when it's all sorted. So keep an eye out for that. This is really exciting. I've been wanting to move out for months and I didn't think it would be possible with lockdown, but we've just decided to get on with it. Lockdown doesn't seem to be going away, coronavirus doesn't seem to be going away and I'm not just gonna sit with my life on hold waiting for it to disappear so that I can do what I need to be doing. So I hope you enjoyed this. I really enjoyed it. I hope you found it exciting and interesting and I hope you like all my pink and grey stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye.